And this is how to build a cardboard fingerboard quarter pipe with extension. Um, here are the supplies you're going to need. Um, obviously, I'm not going to build one this high, but you can build it like this once you get better at it. Um, first of all, obviously, you're going to need a fingerboard because that's the whole point. You're going to use it. Um, you're going to need some strong tape, like duct tape, would be probably the best. Um, the clear tape will work, but unless, but if you're making a quarter pipe, it's not the best to use because it sticks, but it doesn't stick as well. You're going to need a pencil or a pen or a permanent marker or something, something to write with. Um, you're going to need scissors. Um, big and sharp ones usually help better for cutting through. Um, you're going to need some cardboard. Best is from cereal boxes, used cereal boxes, because you're not going to cut up on a uh, regular cereal box. Um, what you're going to do first is you're going to cut it open, and then I'm using this one as an example. I already cut this one out. Um, you're going to cut off the sides right at the little fold marks. So that it should look like this. You're going to use this side as the outside because you're not going to have this. Um, and then you're also going to need thicker cardboard, like a pizza box, like when you take out the pizza. And then that's what you're going to need to use it. In this first part, I'm going to show you how to get everything set up. So after you cut out the sides on this, you're going to want to make your ramp. So what you're going to do is, um, you're going to cut how big your branch is going to be, preferably a small one. Start out really mellow and get a little bit steeper and steeper and steeper. Now this one's going to be vert because you're going to make the extension part. So it's just about vert. Oh my, I have my little cut here. Notice how I don't have the top. You're going to take your fingerboard, um, your longest fingerboard would be best, um, set up the fingerboard so that right in be this part right here is at where you ended the cut at the top, and then mark where your wheels end here, a little bit far, with the pencil. So I have it right here, from here to here, that's how long it is. And now you're just going to take and cut out this part straight up, or as straight as you can get up to it. If you're going to do anything, though, make it farther out than that. Okay, um, folding it up usually sort of helps. Cut it a little bit over on the side that you're going to start cutting. And then just aim up your scissors for as straight as you can into it. And then you got your basic quarter pipe. You're going to need two frames, so um, the side that you're going to want out, you're going to have that side out when you draw the other frame and have the other side in so that it turns out like this, so that you have both sides out. Just simply draw around it with a pencil, with a pencil or your drawing thing, your pencil, and then just cut out the shape. It doesn't have to be completely exact. Um, the one I showed you before, the sides weren't exact, but it still worked out. Let me cut this out. Okay, there you go. You got your, um, you got your two frames, and my white side's going to be out, so I got white side. Now, notice how they're not exactly the same. That's fine. And white side, just sort of go like this, see how they look, push it together. So these are the frames now, I'm making, I'm teaching you how to make the frames. So here's the frame of your quarter pipe, there's going to be the ramp here. And then, um, make sure that you see how long this is, because you don't want to take your extension across the whole thing, or it's not going to be much of an extension, it's just going to be a higher quarter pipe. Um, so take your car your thick cardboard and I'm going to make mine about the size of about the size of from my truck to my other truck. Um so 
about here to here. And I'm just going to make a little mark. Now, depending on how you want it, actually, I should do it on this side um, to show it better. Um, here to here. Make sure that you don't have it on the round side, it's going to go up and around. So I have it marked, and I'm going to cut it out. You just cut it out as high as you want it. Now, this part can also be used for sort of making um, grind boxes. So just cut up as high as you want your extension. And then just cut to where your extension ends. Here. And then I'm just going to cut up here. Cut from where you are here as high as your other side. Ooh, that thing turned out to be a little high, but take your shortest side and just cut on that part. Make sure I have one frame now, as again, I'm going to use the white as the outside. So I keep the white on the outside, and it won't fit here, so I'm just going to do it here. Same thing as where you do that, just do a nice trace around with the side you want. Face, with the side you want out facing towards you and the side you don't want your tracing on. And then just cut that part out. Um, if my dog gets in the way, just ignore him. Um, so what you're going to do is, after you cut that out, you are going to want to um, create the top and bottom to it. Um, so, you're going to make this part, but through this. So, here's mine. Um, because these are essentially squares, um, you're going to want to make sure how you put them on. Try to remember how you put them on. So that you can keep them the same, and so that they don't get all odd. And then you're just going to take um, your other side of your cereal box or whatever you have left over and cut along the side here. And then um, after you do that, um, you're going to want to measure how high this is. And you're going to want to mark the side that you're not using. You're going to want to mark on the inside. So I'm just going to take um, one of these, and so this is going to be how high it is and how wide, so just trace it around, but trace it a little bit higher than it, than it and then just trace the side up. Um, the reason you're going to want to trace it higher is so that it sticks down onto your ramp. Um, if you're doing this on colored side, it's best to go over it with a permanent marker. After you do it, after you draw it with pencil to help you see it better, but just go over it as best you can. So um, now, as you can sort of see, it's a bit longer, just like that. This is going to be the side, and then you're just going to um, take this side. Um, you can use the thick or the skinny for this. If it's long, you're going to want to use thick. If it's short, it doesn't matter. Trace the length of the top part to be this long for me. And then um, make sure that wherever you trace that, the board will completely fit on it. So it fits all the way to here for me. So um, I'm going to mark it right here. So that's going to be your top deck. So just color on that part. Put along your top part right here to the end. Oh yeah, and um, P.S. Make sure you mark the um, end because see how I got to mark how far over it goes. That way, um, you can see you don't want to overlap it. You don't want to make it too short. We we'll just mark that too, and then cut that out. Um, always keep these pieces separate 
in different piles so that you know which ones go where. And then here is your top deck. Just like that. It's on. Um, and then we're essentially going to do the same with this part right here. And just do the length, do how far your do it where it ends and do how far your board goes in. And then that's it for the pieces and I'll be back with two more on how to put the extension on for part three and how to assemble your ramp for part two.